a big welcome to all aspirants out there and i'm back with a new video here guys if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel let's crack it and in this video we are going to cover like uh, whether tcs will be sending the direct offer letters in march month also so i know various categories of people are watching this video like uh, some have already given the test some are going to give the test in the future some have given the test and even attended the interview so even some are waiting for the results so i know there are a lot of categories but I will be focusing on the direct offer letters part like I will be taking one example from the pre previous batch a candidate experience. So let's dive into our video. So before directly diving into the video, let me tell you the course of video course of this video. I will be focusing on three things especially like first thing will be what actually is uh, this direct offer letter concept like uh, the concept of direct OLS from TCS for those who are not aware of this and secondly, I will, uh, we shall discuss uh, about a previous batch offer letter like uh, a candidate who has given the test and got his offer letter directly from the TCS and finally we will discuss about the possibility of getting oil uh, directly from TCS even in March like uh, in the March month or in the coming future. So here comes the concept of direct offer letter. So literally this is the very first time happening in the history of TCS and history of placement like giving direct offer letters without conducting interviews. So guys, you need to utilize this opportunity opportunity like this is a very golden opportunity we can say it as. So but before that everybody is puzzled with the same question. Same question is uh, revolving in all the minds. Why? Why is it happening? Why not uh, conducting interviews and filtering the best talent by conducting interviews? So TCS has chosen this path. There is a very strong reason behind this. The strong reason is very requirement is the reason like a huge requirement is there and even that too immediate requirement is uh, needed for them immediate so in order to compensate for the high attrition rate TCS as is uh, hiring in huge number so without conducting even interviews they are sending the OLS but one point is very clear that not everybody will be receiving the direct of our letters like everybody who writes TCS NQT will not uh, receive this they two conditions should be met two conditions should be strictly met first one is the score score in the TCS exam should be high and second thing is profile so about this profile second point I'll be discussing in the next slide but before that attrition rate in order to compensate for the attrition rate various companies are taking different measures so among them TCS is uh, taking a measure of sending direct offer letter like uh, attrition rate is means people uh, number of people leaving a company in, uh, in search of high package moving to other companies. So I hope uh, I'm clear enough this with this part like the concept of direct offer letters and why is TCS choosing this path. And as I have told you that we shall look into one I mean one case study. So here is that a candidate has written his exam NQT exam on 19th February and just within no time on 23rd February he received the a selection mail from TCS and immediately the next day he got his offer letter. So literally this is super fast. This process is very fast like uh, within no time within five days itself the person the candidate received his offer letter. So I have already told that this candidate profile is good and wrote the I mean written exam was well I like two conditions are met. The profile is eligible and even the TCS NQT score is high like uh, this candidate has performed well in the written exam. So only th when these two conditions are met, uh, we can expect a direct oil. And even I have taken a snapshot of this uh, selection mail. This is the selection mail guys. And on 23rd February, he received it. And on 24th, he received the offer letter. I'll be showing you the offer letter also. But before that, the most important thing is the profile should be eligible. What actually does it mean? First thing is the per percentage minimum of 60%. And second thing, this, are, this is the criteria for a good profile like highest qualification will qualification either MTech or ME, BE, MCA, MSE. Like third one is year of passing. So right from 2019 to 2021. And fourth thing, no backlogs. And if you observe the fifth one, no gap or break in education like a Overall academic gap should not exceed two years until your uh, highest qualification and finally part-time or full-time courses. It's about that. So these are there are only five. I mean 
five things you need to uh, focus on like uh, this criteria should be met so this was the selection mail the candidate got from tcs directly after the exam so after the selection mail immediately the next day he got his offer letter like he got a mail where, where he has to download it from the next step account like uh, your offer letter is available in your next step account so the candidate has to go to area uh, sign into next step account and accept the offer letter so once the offer letter is accepted the process begins so finally here comes the most awaiting part of the video direct offer letters in march can we expect yes luckily it's a yes even in march month we can expect direct offer letter so if we observe even today even today tcs exam is held like 5th march even tomorrow 6th so this way even in march month also candidates may receive direct offers provided with the three conditions like first thing is you need to score good in the tcs exam like written exam should be performed well like you need to stand in the top and second thing you try to execute at least one code one code in the written exam this is not mandatory like uh, not very mandatory but if you observe the previous batch uh, candidates who have received direct toils they have executed at least one code so uh, to be on the safe side at least one code should be executed and here comes the most important point like only when a candidate is i mean only when a candidate clears all the conditions in the academic like academic criteria he he may expect the offer letter like 60% in the plus two, i mean 12th and uh, graduation and second thing is no backlogs active backlogs and there are some other points i have discussed in the last slide right yes so all the best to all the aspirants just perform well in the written exam i hope all of you should get placed with the any company as soon as possible